What's up guys, I'm Dan. Welcome back to Poor Michigan Beer. Well, would you looky what we got here? What's happening, guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Beer, guys. This is not going to be your average uh, Michigan beer today. This is going to be Yingling. Yes, I said it, Yingling, traditional lager, uh, the original amber beer, guys. This is coming out of Pottsville, Pennsylvania, if I remember correctly. Um, so, guys, everybody has sought after this beer. I am one of them. I I've had it quite a few times in my life, but honestly, guys, when I get it, I go nuts for it, and let me tell you why. It's because I can't get it, like a lot of you guys. Um, I think you can get it across the lower Midwest and a little bit out east. I don't know how far it actually goes beyond that. I think you can get it in Ohio and all of that. I live in Michigan. Has not made its way to Michigan, so I'm upset about it, guys, but let's be honest. I had to review it because it's just one of those beers. you got to talk about it and uh, say it on camera because other people are very interested in this beer. I'm not the only one. Um, I cannot see when this was canned on. Um, this did travel, guys. I don't know how it traveled, so I'm just going to say that as a disclaimer. Um, but it's America's oldest brewery, so um, let's just crack into it and stop talking about it. I know you guys have had Yingling if you've clicked on this video. Most likely, you've had yourself a yingling. Why don't we talk about it, guys? Yeah, buddy. Oh, you know what? I forgot. What is this coming in at? I think it's 4.5% ABV, if I remember. Let me see if it says it on the can. Um, 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 yingling. Damn, did they really not put it on the label? I want to say it's 4.5%, guys. I don't know why, but I guess it is not on the can. Uh, let's just say it's 4.5%. Look at this. Beauty, 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 beauty. Dark, caramel, amber, uh, dash of orange in there, guys. Just absolutely stunning in the glass. Crystal clarity. Uh, solid, uh, nice and easy carbonation stream into the top. Nice, frothy, fluffy white uh, head. About a pinky's worth. Uh, that looks great in the glass, guys. Maybe a little chill haze to her. But other than that, she is crystal, and I love it. Uh, that's what we like to see. So it's a lager, guys. It's like a amber lager. Let's go to an aroma. Let's see what we got. Crisp, clean, uh, sweetness. Kind of toasted grains, kind of like um, all brand cereal, something like that when you're opening the cereal in the morning. Uh, it's got that kind of graininess to it. Yeah, just to maybe, maybe a little um, light kind of caramel toffee vibe to it, like I was saying, guys. Uh, it smells crisp and clean at the same time. So let's check it out. This is the Yingling uh, traditional lager, guys. Amber lager. Yeah. Going back to that original thought with the kind of all brand or the uh, grainy kind of cereal vibe, that's what you get. It's, it's literally... Um, it's got that toasty kind of uh, granular cereal. I mean, literally, when you're opening a bag of All Brand or something like that, uh, trying to remember what else would be almost like um, uh, Frosted Flakes without the sugar. That's what you're getting. That kind of vibe in it uh, transitions into nice, uh, into nice um, kind of like sweetness, kind of caramel toffee sweetness. But again, guys, very clean and crisp from front to back. Um, I like the end. It, it just finishes very nice and dry, drinkable. Four and a half percent. Let's say it's five max. It, you're not detecting any of that. You're not meant to. It's a very, very solid beer. Um, is it meant to blow you away? I don't think so. I don't think so. This beer kind of checks all the boxes. It could be an everyday beer. It can be a beer with eating dinner. Uh, you could be probably playing beer pong in college, throwing around the, uh, at, at the table, and you could probably be chugging this beer. I, I wouldn't chug it, but you could. You could. Maybe a little dash of like small floral sweetness. Again, I get this toasty kind of cereal vibe on the front, that little slight malty uh, crackery thing that's uh, kind of what the, the, the beer is all the way through, guys. It doesn't hit you with any of these like big hot bursts. 
It's not going to be like an IPA, nothing like that. It just really checks all the boxes of a smooth, crisp, like car caramel toffee, uh, light sweetness all the way through, guys, front to back. I just, I really enjoy this beer. I think it's good for what it is. Um, do I bump it up? Yeah, let me tell you why, because I can't get it. <laughs> but I mean, if you're going to be completely honest, guys, someone who can always get this beer, it's a great beer. It's not exceptional. There's nothing awesome about it. It doesn't blow you away. Uh, like I said, it was not supposed to. It's good. It's just really good. Still clean and crisp. Um, are there better beers out there that you can get? Absolutely. Can I get Yingling daily? No. So I'm always hyped to drink it, guys. Again, this like bready kind of like cereal grain. It's the majority of what I get with that little like malty amber hue. Um, yeah, it, it's good. Is it going to, you know, blow your socks off? Absolutely not. Um, but I like it. I want to freaking drink it when I can get it. And guess what, guys? I've got a couple cans that I brought back with me. That's right. I got it out of state. That's the way it is. That's how I got a hold of this beer. So, rating. You know, realistically, this beer should be like a 3.25 out of 5. It's not for me because I can't get it, guys. And when I get it, there's excitement that overwhelms me. And for that reason, I think I'm going to go 3.75 out of 5. It's not meant to be that high. Um, but I think, again, Yingling, you know, this is just one of those beers that checks all the boxes. It just it wows you from uh, the front to back if you can't get it all the time. Now, if you can, you probably don't give a rat's ass, but I do. So 3.75 out of 5, guys. This has been uh, Yingling Traditional Lager. I appreciate you guys for clicking on the video. If you'd like, comment. If you've had it, what do you think of Yingling? Overrated, underrated? Realistically, it doesn't matter. Why don't you just hit me up in the comments below, guys. Subscribe to the channel. It's been another episode of Poor Michigan Beer. Cheers.